in this session you will learn that how to add grouping and totals to your report so basically in reporting services this feature provides a way to organize and summarize our data on the report to understand how this functionality is usable to create a report we need to understand uh, the things so we are taking an example of sales order in a sales we can see we can see uh, a sales may have multiple regions like uh, here and a region may have more than one sales person and a sales person may have more than one order and a order in nothing is a collection of items in details which is going to be sold out so how we are going to organize this data in our report it does matter for us to understand this thing we have the data this is the dummy data uh, in this data you can see here we have a region sales person order order date items so if we are talking about the data uh, you can see here region has a multiple sales person and a sales person has a multiple orders and a order has a multiple items so first of all what we are going to do here uh, we are going to the report builder and going to, and adding a data set and named the data set as a ts orders we have already a data data source so we are using the embedded data set to my report with data source and just copy the data this query into our report builder okay now in a field section in a field section in a field section we have all the fields which is needed to the report okay now we have a data set and we need to add report so for reporting we are using table tablix okay for this table uh, we are going to add a data set for the report like mm, mm, ds order okay now we have added now we have a region we have a sales person we have a order number order date item number item item quantity and sales scales now we are going to preview now you can see here there is a repetitive region sales person order number in a order item number is unique so our data uniqueness is in on the order number within the item so the items on the orders so what we are going to do here we are going to apply grouping to the report here so to do this what we are going to do here now to, going to apply groups on my report so first of all we are removing this records from the report now we have these items in our report so first of all what we need to do here we need to create a top level group on my report so in our data region is our top layer so we are going to use group by region 
on our report and add a group header also like this now you can see here we have regions with all the items and i'm going to add here as sales case so i need it as a total sales in a region so i'm going to use some aggregate function on the report like this now you can see here i have we have all the stuff right now so for this feature why i'm going to convert dot float so decimal would be the best thing okay now in our report you can see here we have all the region sales so we have the second layer of the group is sales person so what we are going to do here we are going to use another uh, group it is the second group just below the region so sales person and we are going to use the same thing here add group header header on the report now you can see here yeah okay so we need to add the sales here also so what we are going to do here in the expression just copy the same thing here and paste here okay in the text box expression okay now you can see here we have the second level of the group okay now in a sales person we have a multiple orders now you can see here now we need to add the third level of the group on the details field like as a parent we are going to add as a order number and group header also same thing we are going to do here in the expression we are going to just paste the same thing total sum of in a order and preview to the report now we have order number and order date so we need to add one more column here like order date so we are going to use order date here also okay now we have all the things in our report so first of all what we need to do here we need to give some more clarity formatting to our report like this now you can see here we have a multiple uh, items in a order okay now preview to the report it is very easy to add a group on the report in this session you can see we have a three layer of the group first is region then sales present then order number you can see here <coughs> how we are we are going to add grouping and totals in our report so in this video you can see we have a region north india and there there are two sales person and a sales person have a order with item details so you can see here it is a very easy thing how to add grouping to your report now if you want to do uh, some more formatting in the text property we are going to align as a currency okay okay now you can see here in the report we have a currency same thing we can do here okay just copy and paste this copy the format paste against each sales case okay now in the report you can see here it is very easy to add 
groups and totals on your report it is the best way to summarize your data on the report in a proper manner hopefully you are you have liked this uh, report and this session also please subscribe my channel on youtube thank you thank you for watching us